Uh, I haven't really worked there at all. Um, I got a couple other guys mixing in there and just do as I'm told pretty much. So. If you had to take that challenge on, you know, going, how do you feel? Um, yeah, you know, just prepare and work like any other player, and just get used to it. Um, it'd be, it'd be, a, you know, change, but um, you know, I'm up for whatever, and just whatever the team needs me to be. Yeah, I mean, just there's some communication errors, and um, you know, just some stuff that we need to clean up. But um, overall, I feel like when we need to make some plays, we did. Just execution-wise, we just need to do a better job. So, I think that was about it. Is that at all bothersome, worrisome that you know, you're over <coughs> halfway through the season now and you're still having some of those communication issues? No, I mean, I think you know, you'll never be perfect as an offensive line. There will always be something. But um, just something that we need to work out and take it upon ourselves to get better. And I think we'll do that you know, with a bye week and uh, just work on what we need to do to improve. What did you play in last year's game? What were some of the things you remember from that game against LSU just watching from South Florida? Just the atmosphere was crazy at Death Valley. And, um, you know, it was obviously a really exciting game, just back and forth, back and forth. So, I mean, that's what we're expecting going to this game. And just, you know, they'll, be, they'll make plays and we just got to keep going and keep doing our job and execute. So, so both fan bases are kind of pretty crazy. What kind of stuff did you see? Leading up to that game, or here and during the game. I mean, nothing, nothing, you know, nothing sticks out. Just how loud it was. And just going in, you know, into the stadium on the buses, they were just yelling at us and just typical stuff of you know, what everyone else used to. Pass so. block has kind of been obviously troublesome at, at times. You know, the sacks last week, but other times a lot of pressure, a lot of tackles in the backfield this year. What do you attribute that? Is it just? A lack of communication, or is there more to it? Yeah, I just think it's more of the stuff that we do. You know, we'll mess up, or like I said, communication, or something like that. Um, and you know, we take fault for that. Um, and we're just working on it to clean it up every day, and you know, that's really all that we can do. So what corrections can be made, you know, week to week to alleviate stuff? Just taking the right steps, and just you know, some. I mean, you kind of get mixed up in the game sometimes, and you know, you'll mess up on one play, and just kind of get ahead of yourself a little bit. So just kind of settling down and what Coach Haven preaches, just play each play. And so I'd just say that. When you say communication problems, is it like, not communicating a, a change in a, a scheme? Yeah, yeah, I'd say that just, you know, if they're moving or something like that, and get, you know, not all five of the offensive linemen gets the call corrected. So one guy's running this, another one's running the other one. So just little stuff like that that it's easily, you know, can be fixed pretty quickly. So. Grew up in Iowa. Do you remember that 2011 Alabama LSU game that was you know, called the game of the century? Was that the, uh, the national championship game or the one that was six to nine? It was the nine six game. Yeah. Nine six. Uh, yeah, I remember watching it. And just you know, battle of defenses. So I remember watching Alabama LSU that year. Yeah. Were you just on, at home on TV. Yeah, just with my buddies. Just you know, it was the big time game on that night. So we were watching college football all day. Does that mean you ever thought that you would be part of? No, not that time. So. Pretty crazy. But you, were watching, you were watching that rivalry over, you know, kind of like you said, in the Midwest. And, and what, what was your interpretation of that rivalry? Um, just two big physical powerhouse, you know, programs that just had a bunch of studs on their team, pretty much. And um, yeah, it's just it's awesome to watch. And you know, some football up there isn't quite like that as it is down here, and it's just fun to see the atmospheres and stuff like that. So. Has the rivalry changed in your eyes since you've been a part of it? Um, I don't really know if it's changed much. You know, it's still a big, big time game and big programs, atmospheres, and everything like that. So I'd say it hasn't changed much. Just from my perspective, it's changed from going watching on the TV to not playing it. So. Are those atmospheres kind of a driving point for you to want to come here? Maybe just the um, big I mean, it's part of it. Just being around fan base that you know really cared about the football team and. Had a lot of excitement around the program. That was definitely, you know, a factor, and that played into it. But I don't say that would be the main you know, factor. After the after the Tennessee game, was there sort of a feeling of relief and you think oh, we've got a whole week coming, or I mean, anything tough like that? There's a much needed break. You know, eight games straight without a bye. You know, it kind of takes a toll on you mentally and physically. 
Um, but we just really need to focus on you know what we need to do to get better this week. And um, so that's kind of our main focus, and we just we're excited about getting better as a team. How the defense has had such a good pass rush this year. <coughs> Maybe you don't maybe you don't go against the Tim Williams of the world but, uh, as much during the season. But how who's the toughest guy to block up as far as pass rushing on this Alabama defense? For myself? Yeah. For, on Alabama's defense. Oh, um Yeah, like you said, Tim Williams is a really good pass rusher. Um Petway is good, I'd say. Uh, you know, all the guys are really good. They just do things differently. And I go up against A. Sean Robinson every day in pass pro pass pro, so that's kinda of tough, you know, he's a big strong guy hard to stop. So for me personally, that's the hardest guy I go against, but you know, other guys will say different things. What do you make with the mental and physical strength being the first year's Um, You know, it's tough. Uh, you can't, I mean, they prepare you well as far as just coaches um, just preparing you in the film room and everything like that. And, um, you know, you just got to take it day by day and just try to get better and then, you know, it'll just kind of get used to it a little bit. As the season goes along, just continue progressing. So. Probably more. Any special getaways this week or going to watch high school football? Or? Yeah, I'm actually I'm leaving for back home tomorrow, uh, tomorrow after practice, so I'm pretty excited about that. But we got practice today and tomorrow, so can't really think about that too much yet. Do you think it's more beneficial to wait until next week to look at LSU film, or would you rather look at start now? I'd say so. I'd say... Um, start looking at it next week, just focus on ourselves and what we need to clean up and get better like, as a team. And then next week, you know, that'll come. Just get better right now as ourselves and take care of itself. As, as a player that goes to the, you know, the grind of a new team to look at, is that kind of refreshing to kind of step back a little bit and focus on yourself instead of having an LSU or anybody else? Yeah, I mean, you know, week to week it's such a quick turnaround. You just go from one game to go right into the next game. And now it's like we can really break down what we've done and just kind of over the whole season, just what we need to improve on and just kind of, you know, keys and reminders. So it's nice. All right. Thanks. Appreciate it. Yeah.